What's going on reef builders? I'm Jake Adams. We have a very interesting video brought to you today by Reef Pro. This is a manufacturer of uh, basically kind of like small batch, really mindful additives um, out of West Palm Beach, Florida, I believe, at least Southern Florida. And um, I got a call from my friend uh, Gilbert over there, who's uh, really good at growing some, some stony corals that we saw at Reefalooza not too long ago. And he called me up on Monday, he's like, hey, I just watched one of your video tours and I noticed you didn't have this fish. And are you gonna be around on Friday? He didn't say what fish, but him and I have, uh, have chatted about certain exotics in the past, and um, I, I don't know what's in this box. I don't know what this box, I have a clue to a couple fish that it could be, but we are going to discover together what's in this box. I legitimately do not know what's inside. Been, uh, this box should have been delivered, oh, half a day ago, but uh, FedEx always gives me the special treatment, if you know what I'm saying. So, we're gonna crack this open real fast, and we're gonna relieve the mystery. We're gonna do this all in one take, as far as the discovery, because um, I legitimately do not know what's in here. This is a big box, so I don't know if it's a big fish, or two big fish, or two medium-sized fish. I don't really know. I legitimately do not know. So, we got a box over here. Acclimation solution. Not gonna use that. I got my own acclimation procedures. And hopefully this styrofoam lid is not taped down. Oh, it is. That's always a, a, a bummer. All right, this is how you do it. <laughs> Got to straddle the cardboard, then pull the whole thing out. Oh, it's broken at the bottom, so. <laughs> Thanks, FedEx. This is the whole lid. Hopefully everything inside is fine. Okay, well, that's one way to do it. That's, that's pretty special. I don't think I've ever seen that before. All right, we got three big bags. Don't know what's inside, but they look like they are packed very well. Three of them, holy moly. We have a tag, oh my goodness. How is there three bags? How is there three bags? I saw the tag, I'm not gonna say anything. Because if it's, if it's three of what I think it is, I'm just, I'm just gonna lose my mind because I haven't even seen like two or three in my entire life. Oh boy, oh boy. There we go. All right, so I, now I know what it is, but there's a lot of different, let's just say, Variety, variability. Oh yes, and then there's a whole bag of frags here just to fill out the box, you know, just to fill out the box. Cause you know, that's how you do. Look at this lid. <laughs> Sorry, that's the bottom of the box. It just broke off at the bottom. That's hilarious. All right, so I don't know if we're gonna do this on the frags cause I really wanna focus on the fish, but uh, this is gonna be super, super interesting. How fitting that this fish is right here. Right here, all right. So you can see that there's a tag on here, but we've got lots of layers of plastic, and we got a black sleeve, so I can't see the fish in there. You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have a sneak peek before, I, before I, I open up the bag. Where's he at? Oh boy. Oh boy. That's very different. All right, first one up. Here we go. Can't believe there's three of them, man. That's freaking crazy. Whoo. Whoo. All right, if you want to get up closer, just on the, on the tank, just get from the tank from the front. And then here we go. And I'm going to pour them out super gently. I can't believe there's three of them. That's a... Good number of fish to quarantine. Wow. Look at that crazy looking fish. So I don't think it's technically a tiger pygee. It looks like a partially xanthic eye angelfish. But you can see he's just got a lot of, lot of crazy yellow going on. Very black tail. A lot of crazy yellow going on. So let's, let's see what else we got. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm gonna have a sneak peek just so I can see what's going on here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
I've been researching this fish and I'll tell you a lot more about the backstory after we get it out. But right now I'm just like kind of losing my mind. Kind of low key, just what the heck? What the heck? Oh my lordy lord. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. You guys ready for this? This is definitely very, very special fish. Oh my goodness. That guy is like solid yellow xanthic. Look at that dude. I can't even believe it. So that's the kind of fish I've been researching this week. I've seen them popping up in other countries. We'll, we'll spread them out real quick. And this is the third one. We're just gonna make it a surprise opening because we're gonna have to uh, go ahead and separate these fish because they're gonna start fighting almost right away because they are, uh, you know, kind of kind of strong fish. All right, let's keep it going. Keep it going. I have no idea what color this guy is. And we're gonna let him out. Oh man, that's, look at this. This is basically five gallons of water for three fish. And we're gonna discover together what fish is inside. There we go. So we have a, a super xanthic, like a half xanthic, and then like a partially xanthic. Holy moly guacamole. We take a look at that. All right, so we got the fish out and we're halfway through the acclimation process, but once I get them in the tank, I don't really wanna mess with them for too, too much. So if I was being a little dramatic about these fish, it's because um, the candy stripe angelfish, Centropy Gibli, it's just one of those beautiful, small, colorful, interesting pygmy angelfish that I've always loved. And I have a normal one um, in long-term quarantine over there. So you can see I've got my Tiger Pygy poster here. Uh, the Tiger Pygy is an actual cross um, between the Centropy Gibli and um, the Cocos, Cocos Island lemon peel angelfish. So these are more of a xanthic form and you can see that there's kind of a range from some with just like a little bit of splotches of yellow and one that is like nearly solid yellow with a bunch of brighter pink candy stripes. So if you'll hand me the, uh, the camera up, I'll give you guys a little bit more of a, of, an, of a look at these guys. So this is the big boy, we had to separate him. He's probably a male, as you can see, he's uh, got a little bit longer dorsal fin, but he was, uh, he was chasing the other two. But one thing you'll notice is as, uh, his anal fin is bright yellow, and everywhere that there's red, um, it's just a little bit brighter than it would be on a normal eye angelfish. And it's just so weird how the yellow is kind of patchy on the face, but you know, in a happy, healthy, adjusted uh, eye angelfish, those pelvic fins, they will be bright yellow, but then with like an orange streak, but this guy's, um, you know, his uh, ventral area is just solid orange and the pelvic fin is nearly always orange. And then you can see a little bit trace of yellow there um, in the dorsal fin, which is totally unusual. So this guy has um, kind of a mixed xanthic appearance. And then this guy right here, I'm sure he came with a batch and he's just not quite as xanthic as the others, um, but definitely a lot more yellow in the fin, a lot more orange in the belly. And um, you know, maybe like a, a light yellow body overall, but the black is reduced to the back part of the body. And then we have the super dupa, the, the full xanthic boy, who's got no black on him whatsoever. Um, just like a golden yellow fish, which orange. Look at that, man. <laughs> this guy's supposed to be gray with a, with a black tail. And he's just nearly solid yellow, red stripes with a clear tail. You can still kind of see that, uh, that blue edge to his, uh, his tail fin. So. We're gonna continue acclimating these guys and um, I'm not sure if we're gonna film them again right away. So definitely a huge thanks to Reef Pro for sending these along. We're gonna continue um, uh, acclimating these guys, putting them in the tank and uh, just see how they settle in. There you go, buddy. So this guy does not have a hint of darkness about him at all. He's just like a brilliant yellow-orange with really bright orange stripes, super bright orange belly. 
come out into the light, buddy. You know you want to. There you go. Um, and this one also looks like a male. You see those dorsal and anal fins are reaching back towards the, the tail fin and forms almost a complete semicircle. Very awesome fish, man. Super cool. And what a treat to have, you know, the three different grades of xanthic angelfish um, to observe and compare, not to mention the normal Ibelai angelfish. There you go. He's coming out now. Come on, buddy. So this is the tank that I feed a ton of mysis to because uh, all the purple tiles, that's pretty much all they want to eat right now. So we're going to let these guys settle in. We're going to observe them very well, take a lot of pictures. And uh, I guess, you know, by the time this video comes up, we'll have an article and kind of discussing our initial observation. Big thanks to uh, Reef Pro for sending along these awesome fish. They're better known for their additives and uh, to a lesser degree, the coral frags at the frag shows, but I know they've been dabbling in some exotic fish. So I think by the time this video comes out, they're gonna have more of them available for sale. So definitely check the link in the description and uh, I'm gonna get back to playing with my fish and I hope you guys enjoy your fish tank too. Later guys.